In Chapter 1 of Batman the Night, Bruce agrees to go into therapy at the behest of his then-girlfriend Dana after they have a discussion where she makes a poignant point about how Bruce's darkness has been preventing him from being somebody who wants justice because deep down she knows that Bruce doesn't crave justice, he seeks vengeance for those that have been hurt. Like all those years ago when he tormented a bully in secret to the point of where the bully's parents took him out of school. So she's the first person that tells Bruce to think bigger. The problem is, during this interaction, Bruce has realized that there's something wrong with Dana and he's absolutely right because it turns out the therapist is none other than the future Batman villain Hugo Strange. And while Hugo actually does a pretty good job to start by helping Bruce understand that he's just mad at the world because we allow good people to suffer and as a byproduct of that suffering bad individuals get to do whatever they want like Hugo. And at the end of chapter one Bruce stands up from his session and exposes that he knows that Hugo's been stealing from Dana using hypnotherapy and that he already tipped off the cops with evidence to put Hugo away. But he thanks Hugo because now Bruce knows he has to become something more.